All right, guys. Um, it's your boy Sal here, freestockpicks.org. Again, that's freestockpicks.org, Twitter, freestockpick. Today, I want to talk to you guys about what happened today on Twitter uh, with RXSF. Uh, I got in really, really good at a penny. Uh, I knew it was overbought. Excuse me. Uh, yes, overbought. I went in and made a really good killing on it. Um, it settled back down uh, to just under a penny. But, you know, I got a really nice, really, really nice 30% on my money. But, again, I want to tell you, you know, how I saw this. I, I really want to break it down for you. I want to start actually doing this where you guys can start seeing my trades in real time. So you're going to start seeing me do this. But I want to break down, you know, how this came to my attention and why I know this stock is a scam. Okay. Um. Uh, it all starts with reading the SEC filings. Okay, SEC filings are the most important thing when it comes to these penny stocks and determining what's real and what's not real, what's what's legit and what's not. Okay, OTC markets. I don't care what anybody says. This is the the, the palace. Okay, of OTC stock information. Okay, E Trade. Uh, you know, sure trade. I, I, I don't any TD Emerge. I, I nobody gives me better information when it comes to OTC stocks than OTC markets. Okay, all right. So let's jump into it. RXSF was the ticker. Um, it ran up today really, really good. And when I saw this happen, I had to jump all over it. I, I mean, I, I just had to jump all over it. And it took you know really a second for me to make a decision to jump in it and I knew that it was overbought as soon as I saw this chart and I realized that basically in the afternoon that th there was no action there was no action happening here so I knew that you know the morning buyers and the people who had bought it early afternoon they were gonna sell because they were gonna think that they're trapped okay I've been a, a, a penny stock promoter you guys have seen me promote before I, you know, if you don't think you're going to get out, you want to get out as soon as you see the next person put in a, you know, a buy order. So I knew that was coming and I got in really early and I was able to take advantage of the dip. Uh, but again, let's go back to why I had this video because I wanted to break down my analysis here. And let's go to the filings. And I've already opened it up over here. And I wanted to show you guys. You know, it all starts in the balance sheets. I don't read the whole thing. You know, there are only a few things you want to look for. You know, this is a multi-million dollar company. Let's go back here to the company profile. All right, so not a multi-million dollar company yet. So it's worth just a little bit over half, under half a million dollars. Uh, but as we can see here, cash has got about 43000 in cash. You know, which is, you know, what you probably would look for for a company that's worth as, as much as it is. It, it is. Uh, current liabilities here. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm looking at total assets, total current liabilities. That's all I'm looking for. So, total assets, 48401 Huge amount of liabilities. I mean, this is almost four times. Uh, actually, a lot more than that. Uh, in terms of liabilities. I mean, this is this is huge. This is really huge. This tells me that this is a company that's really just out here writing tons and tons and tons of warrants. And we're going to see that here. And I'm sorry for the baby crying in the background, guys. That's my young daughter. But let's go down and let's look at some other important information. Um, blah, 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 blah. Gross profit. Look at that. For three months ended June, four hundred and twenty-six dollars in gross profit. Four hundred twenty-six dollars. Can you tell me one company in the world that could make four hundred and twenty-six dollars? Okay, in six months, and have a stock run up eighty percent. Actually, a hundred and ten percent because it was actually a lot higher earlier. 110% today. I mean, uh, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. All right. 
operating expenses are out of control. You're telling me that operating expenses for three months ending in June was more than what the company is worth? Let's go back. It's close. Pretty much identical almost. It's just a little bit less than what the company is worth. So almost 100% of the value of the company was spent on operating expenses in one year. I mean, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. The company lost its entire value, practically. Net loss from operations. It's right here, folks. You know, so the value is, everything you need to know is going to be right here. I don't care what the promoter says. I don't care what a website says. I don't care what anybody on Twitter says. Everything that you need to know about making a great investment decision is right here. Okay, this is where your money is going to be made right here. You can see it. All right, net loss nearly a million dollars. All right, so the company is, is losing money, they're not making any money. All right, so we're gonna, and then there you go, right here. Six months has lost almost 2.5 million dollars. All right, that's almost three times the value of the company. All right, so we know it's a losing business, the business itself. It's pretty much a sham. I mean, you, it, it's, it's, it's pretty much a sham. All right. So let's, let's go back in it. Uh, nature of operations. I'm not interested. Uh, management use. I'm not interested. Okay. I'm not interested. Uh, inventory. I'm not interested. Revenue. I'm not interested. Rent. I don't care. Um, a lot of this is just, you know, a lot of stuff you don't really need to read reading. I, I don't care about that. Uh, loans. I mean, this is this is really important. You know, it goes to tell you about what how the company is using money, and uh, how they're really lending out money. Be very when they start naming people's names. Be very careful with that. Okay, I, I've noticed that just looking right now, this Lorraine Yard name pops out. So when you see people's name, um. I like to Google their name. I like to see who I'm talking about. So Lorraine Yard International Cannabis Association. Okay, so she's the CEO of RX Safes. Okay. All right, so she's the CEO. All right, I guess she's also part of this International Cannabis Association. Okay, Lorraine Yard. So, okay, now the CEO is until both are created Atlantic. All right, so look at this. The CEO of the company is using her own company to lend money to. She's lending money to her company and she's having the company basically write her an IOU. I mean, she's using the company as a personal checking account basically. All right, the company may borrow up to a hundred thousand from Lorraine Yard. The unpaid Brisbane land shall bear interest of four percent. I mean, come on, guys, this is this this is this is crazy. This is what happens when you're running, in my opinion, a scam. If you're a CEO of a company and you want your business to thrive, you're gonna put your money in that. But you don't. You're not gonna have your company write you an IOU. This is your investment. You want to see it grow. So to you, it's just doing what I got to do to make my company grow. This isn't about that. This is about having a vehicle to create wealth for yourself and fucking people over who think that this is a viable business. All right, let's keep going. All right, so obviously, uh, you know, she's paying herself from the company, Treasury. All right. Let's move on. Naples Family Trust. I'm not sure what this is about, but you know we're gonna. We, you definitely want to read what they're loaning out. Um, operating losses, so they're kind of doing some tax stuff there. Blah blah blah. Employment agreement. Look at that. Has signed an employment contract. Look, she signed an employment contract with her own company. And she pays herself a base salary of a hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars 
plus an annual performance bonus at 50% of her salary. Look at this, guys. Look at this. You want to you want to read this kind of information. Let's 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 go back scroll up real quick cuz I I I want to take back to up here. All right? Again, remember the company only has $43,000 in cash in June 30th, 2015. Okay? So let's go back down. I think we were on page 10 or something. Where are we at here? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, fine. Well, I lost my way here. One won't give me a chance to. I should have bookmarked it, but I didn't. All right, so I'm I'm pretty close. Let's go. Okay, there we go. All right. So she's paying herself nearly three times what the company has in cash plus. A bonus of 50% of the salary. Alright? I, I, I want you guys to peep the game here. Because this is the kind of information you need to know so you don't get set up. So you don't get burned. Alright? And then she talks about the health plan reimbursement. Alright? This agreement allows Miss Yard to convert any unpaid compensation to the company stock in excuse me any unpaid compensation to company stock so look you know they don't have the money to pay this because I showed you what they have in the account so she slips this in there the agreement allows Ms. Yard to convert any unpaid compensation into stock at a 50 percent discount to the then market price in the form this is really important right here of unregistered securities so she doesn't have to tell anybody what she's doing with the money okay she doesn't have to tell you she got it it's unregistered I don't have to report that okay so as of June 30th and again June 30th they don't have the money to pay. Remember, they only got forty-six thousand. Unpaid compensation compensation was eighty-seven thousand five hundred. All right, that they had yet to pay her, and she's running the company. No stock had been converted, but upon the signing of the agreement, this agreement we're talking about, she was in grant. She was granted employee stock options of ten million shares 10 million shares that's crazy and look and look I mean they're issuing stock like crazy all right so she got the stock options again you want to keep reading this because this is they can't lie on this paperwork they can lie anywhere else but they can't lie here all right, so she gets the 10 million shares. All right, January 1st. And she can exercise it basically at any time. All right. Stock options totaling 1 million shares were granted during the first six months of 2015 under the director compensation plan. to four directors in the amount of 250,000 options to each director and grants director compensation recorded on the grants totaled $120,400 this is more than the company has on its balance sheet right now and that's what they're that's what they're just giving away folks all right so let's keep it going here I mean this is just crazy all right dr. Reed for marketing services for a term of two years 
All right, they issued him 1.2 million post split warrants to Dr. Karim. So this Dr. Karim guy gets a ton of shares. All right. I mean, she's not paying cash for any of the services for her company. She's basically issuing people shares. That's what she's doing here. I mean, this is crazy. All right. Of course, they did another stock split, issuing more shares. See, when you start seeing this stuff, when they're just issuing more and more and more shares, you got to be highly suspicious of this stuff, man. You know, I've already seen what I needed to see. Um, all this other stuff is pretty much BS, BS, BS. But don't get me wrong. There's, there's, there's some important other stuff in there. But for the most part, we've seen you know what we needed to see and that's how you, you you basically break it down folks I mean it's all in the 10k I don't want to keep going I'm, I'm already going long enough but I just wanted to break down for you how to really look into the numbers and to show you you know what to look for then you're gonna go on Twitter and then you're gonna type in the symbol and then you're gonna find out who's talking about this stock you know, who's really talking about this stock? And this guy I found out was the one who's really pushing it on YouTube, on, on Twitter. And then he ended up blocking me because I, I, I exposed his ass. This is your boy Sal, freestockpicks.com, excuse me, freestockpicks.org. Visit the site. Tell me what you think about this video here. I really appreciate you guys spending time with me. We're going to do a lot more of this. Bye-bye.